Hi everyone, my name is Michelle and I'm Mama Loves You GB here on FlossTube, but also over on Instagram and Etsy as well. Welcome to the Sunday Morning Briefing. It is the 17th of September today. How has everyone's week been? We've been having some pretty wild weather here. Uh, at the beginning of the week, it was so hot. And at the end of the week and tomorrow, we are due to have a month's rain in a day. So it's very much sort of cosy cardigan weather from now on, as far as I'm concerned. I usually like to try and eke out the sort of summer clothes till October half term, but I don't think I'm going to get there this year. I had to wear shoes to school uh, one day this week. Normally I try and get sandals all the way to October half term, but one day this week it was, there was just so much water. And I was like, hey, I cannot wear sandals today. It's, it's impossible. So it's been very weird. Very, very weird. I've got lots to share with you today. I have got a finish and a start, which is going to be a new release, a new series, fingers crossed. Um, I have got some beautiful stitchy kindness. I've got another giveaway and I've got some sample of September progress as well as a freebie and a little bit of haul to show you as well. So I'm going to start off. I'm going to start off a little bit witchy and then we're going to end up a little bit samplery. And that's how it's going to work. So I'm going to start off with my stitchy kindness. Um, or it's not really stitchy kindness, it's just kindness. It's it's beautiful jewellery kindness. So when I film downstairs, you will have seen, whoops, let's angle that, these beautiful shoes. Just get the raffia under control. These beautiful witch's shoes, which hang on the clock downstairs. And I bought these last year from Jane at the old gingerbread house. And I sort of plan to put them away for Christmas, for Christmas, for Halloween. And they, they never got put away. They just live on that clock now. And I absolutely love them. And I showed them on my channel and I got to know Jane. And um, she sent me very kindly, because she does the big ones. And she also does the small ones as well. So she sent me a pair of these. So these hang upstairs, but they will hang downstairs at Halloween. And she contacted me a little while ago to say that she was planning on making some jewellery and that she was going to send it to me. Well, it arrived this week in a beautifully wrapped um, parcel with lovely ribbon. Keep that for something. And let me show you what you can now get from the old gingerbread house. Now, I've had to put these back in the boxes. I've been wearing them all week, but I've had to put them back in the boxes. So the first thing is a beautiful pair of silver earrings. Let me see if I can take them out of the box because it's cast in a bit of a shadow. In the shape of witch's shoes. How fabulous are those? And they look really, really great in the ear. They look great whether you wear them sort of pointing in or whether you wear them pointing out whichever you want let me try and get them there we go so those are the shape of witch's shoes they're flat I don't know if you can see really nice really comfortable to wear proper butterfly backs rather than those silly little plastic backs so they are fabulous and she is also doing these fluff off so sterling silver shoe pendants now this is 3d this is very much like the shoes that she makes and i wish you could feel this because it is so heavy it is super super heavy Let's see if i can get it to to focus it's amazing and it's on a lovely silver chain I think I had an 18 inch chain but it's just really nice and weighty and I've been wearing it all week and I've been wearing the earrings as well and I've had so many compliments from it so I will of course put all her contact information down below now if you are going to the Great British Sampler weekend and you did want to order anything from the uh, 
me just put this back. Old gingerbread house. Go back in. There we go. And perhaps you're coming from the States. This is perhaps more if you're flying in from overseas. If you did want to order something and Jane can get it to me, then I will very happily bring it down for you. So perhaps if you wanted, if there was something you wanted, either some big shoes or some little shoes or some jewellery, drop Jane a message and um, I will very happily take delivery of it if she can get it to me in the next two weeks and then bring it down. So that will help you out with a little bit of um, overseas postage as well. So as I said, contact Jane and then she'll let you know whether it's possible, whether she's got it in stock to send out to me and I'll bring it down for you. So this is from Carol from Samplers and Stitches. This is called Pendle Hill. And she contacted me and said that she would like to do a giveaway. And so this is it. This is Pendle Hill. So if you'd like to enter for a PDF of this, please be over 18. Don't use the words giveaway, win, whatever. Anything that might attract spammers to my channel because they're the bane of my life. Just make a comment using the word hill. And I'll give it two weeks and then I will draw the winner. I do still have a giveaway from my last video for Girl With A Gavel, Chloe's Red Sampler. So if you fancy entering for that, you'll have to go back to the previous video. But make sure you enter for this one. So it's a PDF of Pendle Hill. And Carol has also offered 20% discount using the code PENDLE20. And I'll put all the details from her shop down below. And that runs until October 31st. So you've got until Halloween to make your, your choices. Now she's got several different Halloween pieces. She's got Christmas pieces. She's got spring, summer, autumn, winter, a plethora of different things in her shop. You will be spoilt for choice. So do go along and have a look at Samplers and Stitches um, and check it out. But if you want to enter, use the word help. Right, we're not quite out of the witchy woods yet. Not quite. I've been working on a little series. Now, it sort of arrived in my head and then wouldn't go away. So I had to sort of do it. I had to do it. And it's a parliament. We're going to be, or I'm going to be releasing a parliament. Now, what comes in a parliament apart from MPs? Owls. Owls come into Parliament. So I have been working on some owl charts. Now, you know that I like a perforated paper piece as much as the next person. So what I'm planning to do is I'm planning to release an owl every week in October that can be done on perforated paper. Now, because they take up some of my stitching time, I'm probably going to show you them in advance but I'm going to release one a month until um, uh, during October. One a month. One a... Hmm. Chaos and confusion. My work here is done. I'm going to release one a week in October. So this is the first one. This one's called Stanley. And here he is. Isn't he fab? Ah, oh, I do like him. So he is stitched using DMC. There is the DMC flat thread. And his body, I don't know if you can see very well, but his body is actually stitched with DMC Etoile, the white uh, part of his body. And he's finished on the back with some black sticky back velvet. And he's got some beads on him. So he's got beads on his eyes and these stars are beaded. And he has some sequins. Sequins for eyes with beads and sequins down the front of his uh, front of his body there. Now the sequins are actually yellow although they're because they're reflective they're throwing up all sorts of different different colours. So this is going to be the first one that I'm going to release in the first week of October. Now they're really not very big I think from memory the charts are about 60 by 75 and they're all going to be about the same size and I'm hoping to release five. I think there are five uh, weekends or weeks in October so I'm hoping to release five you never know there might be more <laughs> I've got so many owls designed up it's a matter of choosing which ones to do but wouldn't they all look fab just hanging on one of those little black lissap trees so there he is 
And as I said, his name is his name is Stanley. Now, when I was designing these, I think that you could definitely use the colours that I've picked, but I definitely think that you could just play around and have fun. Whatever you've got in your stash that needs using up. Does he have to be brown? No, he doesn't. He could be whatever colour you want. Does he have to be wearing a sort of a black cloak or with black wings there? No, he could be wearing purple. Why not? It's uh, it's Halloween. Anything goes. So there he is. There's Stanley. And I also think he doesn't have to be Halloween. -y. He doesn't. You wouldn't have to put him away. You wouldn't have to put him away. So this is the first one. And as I do the others, I will show you them. But I'm really pleased with him. And he's, as I said, he's just got sticky back black velvet on him. Fab. <laughs> So before I get on to Sample of September progress, I'm going to do the freebie. Now, as soon as I saw this one, I knew that A, I wanted to stitch it. And I've got to make time to stitch some of these next year. Every time she releases one, I'm like, I really want to stitch it. I really want to stitch it. Um, I just wanted to bring it to you and show it to you. So this is by Melissa from Pinker and Pumpkin Blogspot. And this one is called uh, Pumpkin Blossom In. So I'm going to hold the chart way back here and I'm going to put a picture of it up here. And this is a freebie. This is a freebie. Now you would not, if you've never been onto Pinker and Pumpkin Blogspot, you would not believe the quality of the charts that Melissa does as freebies. They're just so numerous and so fabulous. So all stitched in DMC, but again, I think you could use whatever you wanted. It's just such a fabulous design. Beautiful house, pumpkins and crows. What more could you want? Or blackbirds. So I'll put the link for that down below. Go ahead and grab that one. Now, in honour of Sampler September, I am going to release, I have my schoolgirl series, which is three red charts and a little pin cushion. I am going to release them as individual charts. So if you want to buy one of the individual charts, it will be in my Etsy shop from now. It'll be there now. I said I was going to do this a few weeks ago. I never got around to doing it. But in Sample September, I was like, you've got to do it. Come on, get on with it. Um, get your backside into gear. So there are three. There is May Modridge. And I'll put a photo up of May there. There is Fanny Lacey, so I'll put a photo up there. And there is Little Miss Hodgkinson. So I'm gonna put a photo of her up here. So there will be those three that you can stitch individually. You don't have to buy the full chart. Now, if you want the little pin cushion, you have to get the, the chart pack because I'm not gonna release the little pin cushion individually. So. Something I said I was going to do weeks and weeks and weeks ago. Never got around to doing it, but I've done it now. So it's there for you if you'd like to grab any of those. Mainly because I think since Chloe released her red sampler, I've been hankering after a red sampler. And I've got an idea of one that I want to start as well as Chloe's. But I just need to be... You know when you want to start all the things, but you just won't let yourself. I want if I if I be like opening the floodgates. If I let myself start lots of things, it would just be like opening the floodgates. And I've got to bear in mind that we're going to or I'm going to the Great British Sampler weekend in a couple of weekends' time, and so there's going to be stuff there that I want to start, and that I want to buy, and I want to stitch. So can't wait, can't wait. Right, let's have a look. My sampler September progress. What have I been stitching? I said that I needed to get a start on my Norfolk. So here is my Norfolk, Susan Steele. She is very pale. She has got a few little holes in her so that I've been able to lift up and have a look at the back. And the back is pale as well. Although it's probably about, I would say, one shade brighter than the front. So that's kind of what I've gone with when I chose the colours. I chose the right tone and then sort of went one shade brighter. So this is what I have done so far. Now, 
Now she's been stitched on a piece of 36 count lakeside vintage buttercream. And I haven't ironed it. Possibly should have done. This is where I've got to. So I'm trying not to get this to blow out. So I've got the big motif in there and another motif next to it. And I've started to get the step of the cartouche. The thing that is really obviously makes it a Norfolk, that kind of, or one of the things, that kind of stepped cartouche. Now, when I was putting this green in and this pink in, I was like, is that too bright? Is that too bright for this sampler? Have I picked the, cut the wrong colour? But if you look, and it's more from the back than the front, if you look, the pink is bright, the green is quite dark, it's darker than the rest of the colours. And this motif in the centre is quite dark. So I think once I've got a few more motifs in, some more lights and darks, it will start to even out nicely. Now this model is going to be bigger than the original. She is stitched on very, very fine fabric, probably 46, maybe even uh, finer than that. But I went for 36, because I like 36. I like 40 as well, but I like 36. So that is where I am. I'm hoping to get across to the other side because I like to I like to find my boundaries I like to know where I'm going so hoping to get across the other side this bit here is the middle so she's sort of the same again and then sort of I can start filling in the other motifs loving it absolutely loving it loving it I've got one more sampler model that I'd like to get started before the end of sampler September, but I'm definitely going to be taking this with me to the Great British Sampler weekend. Okay, haul. I've got a tiny little bit of haul and something that I bought ages ago that I've never shown you that, again, it was Chloe, Girl for Gavel Stitches, made me think of and I thought, I've never shown, shown mine. So let's do that one first. So Chloe showed that she had bought a bird clamp. And hers was a gold tone one, I think with a purple pin cushion. And I said to her, let me take this one off as well. I said to her, I've got one of those. I don't think I've ever shown it. And mine is the silver tone one with the remnants of a very bright blue pin cushion on the top. So mine just sort of sits on a spool like that because I haven't really got anything to put it onto. But there is my bird clamp. It's got a very ornate pattern there. Love this kind of key. And that just that overall shape is so, so nice. And I just took another one off just so you could see it better. This is just a little wooden one with a very faded out pin cushion that just sits on the spool as well. So I think it's quite a nice way of displaying them two that's a, that's a collection isn't it that works out as a collection so you never know might end up with a few more there was on ebay not so long ago a whole load let me put these back where they sit it's too much like balancing where was i before i rudely interrupted myself there was a whole load of really really beautiful antique ones all sorts of different animals frogs and bears and toads and oh, birds i wish i'd sort of taken pictures of them like um screenshots of them as they were going through but they were well 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 out of my price range they were sort of priced at about a thousand pounds each or something crazy like that but they were so beautiful so beautiful so haul that is in my price range <laughs> I picked up some little stickers. Um, these are glass bottle stickers and I thought they'd be fun for the, 
don't know if you can see that, um, fun for the book of days. So you can put little flowers and things like that and then stick a glass bottle over the top of them. I thought they'd be fun. There's all sorts of different shapes in there. And then I have got three charts that I've bought. Now the first one, you can tell that I am on a witch's shoe kick because this first one is by Mew Mew. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is a quite a recent one. It's called Primitive Halloween Witch Shoes. And I just love the way that it, they cross over with October the 31st in the middle. And I've got some perfect fabric for that. That would look great on any fabric, I think. Orange, green, purpley, anything like that. So I love those. And then I bought two ornaments from Doreen Jones. Now, I have to say, Doreen Jones is not necessarily always my taste. She does quite a lot of really beautiful work, but it's got quite a lot of backstitch and sometimes is more cutesy. I don't know. Perhaps, perhaps a little bit more cutesy for my taste. But these I really, really liked. And I've been wanting to try this technique for a little while, but I'm just not prepared to commit to learning it on a piece that I've stitched, a big piece that I've stitched anyway. So this one is called the Autumn Fox Ornament and it's cross stitch and hard hanger. So that's what it looks like on the front. And on the back, let's see if she's got another picture of it all sewn up together. Yeah, just at the bottom. On the back, it looks like that. So you basically stitch it as one big piece like that and then you kind of fold the back in on itself and stitch it up like that. Now there is fabulous fabulous instructions with this. How to do the hard hanger, how to make it up, I felt confident buying this, having never ever done anything like this before. It literally has, this tiny little ornament has got 13 pages of instructions and diagrams, and stitching guides, and it was about £4 something, £4.50. So the amount of work that Doreen's put into this is phenomenal. So I bought that one. And then she released a Christmas one with the little reindeer. Exactly the same idea. And I love the fact that they're diamond shaped. So it's called Winter Deer Ornament. And that's what it looks like on the back. So I can't wait to have a go at those. It's a combination of ordinary DMC thread and pearl cotton as well dmc pearl number eight which is what helps to make those kind of those types of stitches there satin stitch is it satin stitch and then obviously you've got the hard hanger there so i'm really looking forward to doing that you stitch it on 28 count i believe i believe yeah 28 count evenly and it does say that it can't be done on ada because of the, obviously the design elements. So there we go. Those, I can't wait to have a go at those. I'm really excited. Push me out of my comfort zone a little bit. I can do lots and lots of little crosses in the right place, but I've never tried anything like that. So I will see you next week. Next week will be my last show before the Great British Sampler weekend. And I don't know what's gonna happen there. I think I may not have a show, I may not do an episode, but I also may be so excited that I do an episode. <laughs> I'm not staying at the hotel. I'm staying at my mum's house, which is about half an hour, 20 minutes, easy road um, from the hotel. So I'll be going back as late as I possibly can in the evening and coming back as early as I possibly can in the morning. So I'm so excited. I can't wait. Anyway, I shall catch up with you next week. Stay classy, Stitchers. <laughs>